Compared to all the galaxies and planetary systems, our solar system is merely a speck of dust. From massive brown dwarfs to rocky exoplanets, some harbor life, while others may pose a threat. However, with all this diversity in the scale of our universe, there are 200 billion stars and over a trillion planets at a very least to be found in our known universe. It is impossible to explore every single unique object in our universe. Today we're going to talk about some of the closest ones. A Speedy Red Dwarf Having traveled six light years away from the sun, we will reach our first stop, a small red dwarf, known as Bernard Star. It is remarkable for its incredible traveling speed across the sky, and also the fact that it is capable of crossing the lunar disk in the course of 180 years. This is not only to its close proximity to us, but also to its great proper motion. Barnard Star is moving towards the solar system at a speed of over 100 kilometers per second, and is going to become our closest star in about 10,000 years. By then, the distance between the star and our sun will be 3.8 light years. The star's mass is just 17% and its radius is six times smaller than our sun. Just like other dwarf stars, Bernard's star is cool with a surface temperature just 3,134 Kelvin or slightly under 2,900 degrees Celsius. With these characteristics taken into account, it isn't surprising that the object luminosity is 2,300 times lower than our sun. In 2018, the results of a 20-year observation of its proper motion was in public, which may provide evidence of an exoplanet nearby. The calculation shows it to be a code super-Earth with a mass not less than 3.2 times that of our Earth. The planet named GJ699b is located at 0.4 astronomical units from the center of the system and takes 233 days to complete the full orbit around Bernard's star. As the parent star of this planet is dim, its temperature is 168 degrees below zero. However, it cannot be ruled out that tidal disturbances or radioactive delay may have released enough energy in the planet's interior to form a warm subsurface ocean. If that is the case, the substantial life would get ample time to gradually develop the brightest star. Meanwhile, on the other side of the sun, there lies almost the exact opposite of the dim red dwarf. We're talking about Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, which is 8.6 light years away from our planet. In fact, it is not a single object, but a binary star, the two components of the system currently at their maximum distance from each other, which is about 30 astronomical units. The main star, Sirius A, a bright blue and white star with a mass two times that of our sun. It is 70 times larger in diameter and temperature reaches up to 10,000 Kelvin. It emits 25 times more energy than our sun. The second object known as Sirius B is barely visible in the background of its bright companion. It is a white dwarf with a radius of 6,000 kilometers and mass very close that of our sun. No planets have been found in the vicinity of Sirius. The reason may be due to the comparable young age of this stellar system or else the special position of the ecliptic plane. Another hypothesis is that Sirius B has exhausted its stellar fuel supply roughly of 120 million years ago and transformed into a red giant. Over the next 60,000 years, Sirius will gradually move closer to Earth, appearing brighter and more visible in the night sky. Wolf Planetary System Around 14 light years away from Earth, a small star designated with Wolf 1061. Its radius is 30% of our sun. This star is very dim with a luminosity of only 0.14%. But there are three exoplanets that have been discovered in its vicinity. The first one is Wolf 1061b, 
located 0.038 astronomical units from the center of the system. The object has a mass in the range of 1.5 to 2 Earths. It is likely that the celestial body is steadily locked and faces its star with one side at all times. Hence, the temperature of the day side of the planet is extremely high, and the flares, stellar winds from the parent star virtually rule out any chances for the genesis and support of life. The second object is Wolf 1061c, located at 0.089 astronomical units from its parent star and within its habitable zone. It is considered three to four times more massive than our planet. The gravity on this planet is about 60% higher than what we are used to. It receives noticeably less energy from its star compared to what the Earth does from our sun. So temperature is about 50 degrees below zero. However, at this temperature, water may well exist on the surface with a dense atmosphere and a pronounced greenhouse effect. Out of all the exoplanets that are potentially into habitable zones known to date, Wolf 1061c is one of the closest, ranking fifth on the list. The third object is Wolf 1061d. Its distance from its parent star is 0.73 astronomical units. The mass of this exoplanet is roughly 7.7 .7 times that of our Earth. It never enters into its star's habitable zone. This celestial body is completely unsuitable to support any kind of life. Youngest star. As we continue our journey into space, we come to a star called AP Columbae, located 27.4 light years away from Earth. It's a very small, red dwarf that was born just 40 million years ago, with a mass of 13% that of our Sun. According to the radiation stellar Mata, AP Columbae contains an abnormally large amount of lithium. Normally this element is found in abundance in protostellar clumps, but it burns out completely after the start of thermonuclear reaction. This means the star is very young, and at the very beginning of its formation, as a consequence, AP Columbae is unstable and explosive in nature. It is prone to violent outbursts and stellar Mata ejections, during which its luminosity may increase by up to 10 times for a short while. Nevertheless, it is a unique celestial body, very important for understanding early evolutionary stages of stars. Orange Dwarf our next stop is 37 light years from Earth. Near the orange dwarf known as Gliese 370, in 2011 a single exoplanet was discovered near its designated Gliese 370b. The object has a mass of 3 to 4 Earths. According to the most recent study, the discovered world is most likely a rocky planet with a radius about 30% larger than the Earth. That means the gravity there would be 40% higher than we're used to. This planet is located 0.26 astronomical units from its star and completes the annual rotation in 54.4 Earth days. Thus, this exoplanet is within the habitable zone of its star. If all these scenarios are true, then the surface temperature there would be around 25 degrees Celsius. This is perfect to create a milder climate with a moderately high gravity that should smooth out the plant's terrain, which combines with its abundance of the liquid water that may cause vast seas to form. Such places have traditionally been considered the most comfortable for genesis and support of life. It is considered one of the most favorable exoplanets for potential biological life. Local Bubble Although the stars we visited are a great distance apart, they are all within a single structure stretching for a total about 300 light years. This is called the local bubble and contains not only thousands of stars, but also the large structures including the local interstellar cloud. This bubble has a giant cloud of interstellar gas heated to 1 million Kelvin. In addition, the hot ionized hydrogen constantly emits X-rays. Fortunately, the magnetic field of the Sun and the Earth as well as the atmosphere of the planet successfully protect us 
from this harmful radiation. Hope you like this journey beyond our solar system. Please let us know which of the facts intrigued you the most. Thanks for watching.